Angela saved delicious strawberries, melons... Uh, the melon, the other melon. Melon. ..bananas and pineapples from being binned at the market. It's a bit soft there, but I'm going to take that. But what can she conjure up from these ingredients? Simon, too, has some great ingredients, but no recipe yet. He hit pay dirt at the bakery and found blueberries in the supermarket bins. Time to get cracking. Simon's decided to make a summer fruit soup crumble. Angela's hopes rest on her floating island meringue with summer fruits. I have to beat you now, Simon, you see. God help us. <laughs> we can't lose again. We're just humiliating beyond belief. When soft fruits like strawberries pass their best, there's no reason to throw them away. They can still be used. What we're going to do is just lightly, slightly cook them. Mm -hmm. A touch of lemon juice, a bit of sugar in there, make a soup out of them. After cooking the strawberries, Angela simply sieves and chills the juice to make a really sophisticated fruit soup for her floating island meringue. Both chefs are fired up about the food waste issue and want to prove that they can turn these bruised and blemished ingredients into something spectacular. Incredibly, this juicy pineapple was flown thousands of miles only to end up in a London market bin. It deserved a better fate. And it's getting one. What did you get, the pineapple? Bins. No way. Just uh, bins of... Uh... Literally, I found a bin with probably yeah. 20 bananas in and four pineapples. It was unbelievable. Lovely blueberries take their pride of place in Simon's dessert. Hard to believe they came from a bin behind a supermarket. Here we go. OK, let's do it, boys. Time for the judges to decide whose dessert makes the most creative use of scraps. The winner will get their dish on the banquet menu. For the loser, there's one last twist. They'll have to make canapes for the banquet from scratch. Will it be Angela's ginger floating island with summer fruits? Or Simon's summer fruit soup crumble? So you've got a ginger floating island on a, a summer fruits. We got all the fruit um, from the bins and the ginger, the candy ginger, from a household as well. OK, what you've got in front of you is a soft summer fruit soup crumble. The, the soup itself is various sources, bins, markets, people's houses, pureed down. Done. All right, then. Okay. Well, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. I slightly get fed up with this notion that if you sprinkle a few crumbs on top, it becomes a crumble. I mean, well, I'm... yes, but it is, does give you lovely texture, whatever you call it, it tastes nice. As we're trying to make a point about waste, presenting a bowl full of some pristine berries you cannot believe anybody was about to throw away or discard okay, does the job. <laughs> Let's have a go at the other one. Can we? Floating Islands, Ile Flatante, it, it, it's, it's, it's not simple to do. I honestly, hand and heart, would have no idea at all that these were, were salvaged ingredients, for yeah. want of a better word. I think it's absolutely tremendous, really.